Now, I know on 9-11, a lot happened for everyone, but you right. had a special tragedy also at that time. You lost your wife on the same day. Right. Can you look at that time? Can you see what happened at that time and see everything else that happened away from what happened for you personally, or is all of it tied together? Uh, my, my wife died that night. So I saw it as a distraction, mainly, uh, when it was happening. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I've never been down there. I've never, I've never looked at it. And and uh, I, um, I, I, it wasn't exactly all tied up in the sense that um, if your wife dies, it, it really doesn't make a whole lot of difference of what's happening in the world. And it wasn't uh, related to nine eleven. No, anyway. no, right. no. And it was uh, in the other. Part of the city. I mean, you could, you, we, you know, I could see it from from my house, but but uh, I live in the village. It's quite close. Um, but at the time, it was just it just meant it was hard for me to get around and and, and get up to see her. She was in the hospital when it happened. Um, but um, and I guess there's you know a constant reminder from from that. But there isn't any good time to have your wife die. So it it. Um, in that sense, it, it didn't make any difference. Did it take a while for you to get back to writing like you after having an experience um, like that? Yeah. Um, it, it, uh, I've never been somebody who, who uh, had kind of serious writing, trouble writing, uh, with the exception of the time my wife was sick originally in 76. Uh, and as soon as she got back from the hospital, I was okay and I could write. Um, I've always thought that one of the reasons writers are so um, weird in a lot of ways is that um, uh, when they have trouble in their lives, then they have sort of double trouble because they can't. They also can't write usually uh, or often. And um, I I thought it, that it was important for me to get back to work. Um, which I did, I guess, a couple of months later, uh, but with a sort of serious reporting story in in Canada that didn't that took a lot of uh, interviewing and looking for documents and <coughs> excuse me. And um, I guess I wasn't sure whether I was ever going to write anything that was meant to be funny again, but but eventually I did. Yeah. My wife Alice, who died in 2001, was the person I showed rough drafts to. I think the only person. What all writers want to hear if they show somebody something is, brilliant, don't change a word, even if you know it's sort of rough. Obviously, she wasn't going to say that. When Alice died, I was going over the galleys of a novel about parking in New York, a subject so silly that I think I would have hesitated to submit the book to a publisher if she hadn't, somewhat to her surprise, liked it. When the novel was published, the dedication said, I wrote this for Alice. Actually, I wrote everything for Alice.